Hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, today we're just going to be doing some upgrades on the truck. We'll see how many we can knock out. We've got some really easy ones and we've got some more complicated ones. I don't know what all I'm going to get done, but it's Monday evening and I've got a little bit of energy. So let's see what happens. Upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. So let's see, what are we dealing with here? Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh, that was fairly easy. Next, we'll put a new battery in, and the first thing we've got to do is take uh, all this stuff that's not attached loose. Okay, so it's it's already not attached. So we'll just uh, oh well, that's that's loose there too. Okay, makes that pretty easy. Upgrades, people. Oh, yeah. We might make that work. Might be some corrosion between two dissimilar metals, but it's alive. Let me go up here. Let's see if that will work. Plenty of clearance. Good deal. And that looks a little bit different than what I've got in the box. is much smaller. Great. Oh gosh, look at that steering wheel. Ugh. That is not good shape. I have to do something about that too.
Well guys, I've got the brake lights mounted. All I did was take the brackets off the end of the truck that I'm getting rid of. I cut them down just a little bit and got them mounted out here. The license plate, I got the uh, Harbor Freight LED boat lights. The only reason I put them outside of the frame is because they already had these little side pieces here. And I figure that's just a little bit of extra safety that might keep somebody from trying to take off the back end of my truck in the middle of the night. Um, I did add a light for backup because these do not have backup lights on them. So I'll have to wire that LED. It's just a simple little floodlight. Hopefully it will work. And uh, plus, as I was thinking, using the license plate below the light, if I put it in here, it actually will hurt my view. I can see from the cab all the way down to the hitch, and that makes me not want to put a bed on this even more. What I was thinking is fenders and a toolbox or something up here, maybe a little platform to stand on to be able to get in the toolbox or whatever. I'm not exactly sure how I'd, I might do that, but I'm playing with the idea of making myself a set of fenders that set about six inches above the tires. I think that would give me enough travel. Um, and of course, a gooseneck hitch. It's gonna have to be there. Let me show you. Maybe you can see. It's probably gonna be pretty hard for you to see. But the gooseneck hitch might get in the way of this. Oh, I didn't get near as much done as I thought I would tonight. I don't, I don't want to say that I'm burning out on this by any means, but it's hard to just keep going and keep going when you've got a normal full-time job too. And, you know, I want to hang out with the kids and do stuff, so little bit by little bit, we're making some progress. I don't know. Imagine that sitting about six inches higher. What do you guys think? I've seen some, some cool dudes that just have these little quarter fenders here on the front to keep from throwing anything up on the cab. And then they have the mud flaps in the back or quarter fenders back here with little mud flaps. Well guys, thanks for watching Fab Fun. We do appreciate you guys watching. Uh, appreciate all the comments and appreciate the thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe and you'll get to see more content as we put it out. If you hit that notification bell, you'll get a notification every time we post something. So go ahead and do that. Uh, I do want to say hi to all the new subscribers. Uh, I've jumped up a couple uh, in the last couple of days, so maybe more than a couple. Hey, welcome to the channel. It's nice to have you guys here. If you have any comments, questions, if you have any uh, advice for me as you see some of the projects that I'm working on, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. I do appreciate it.